kind of drove you to want to qualify for Kona? Um, I think just being the prestigious um, event of the sport and being at the top class, so I just wanted to get there and see what it was all about. And I'm sick of having FOMO on the internet, so I was like, right, I've got to get myself there. <laughs> the race just suited me here. I, I always love racing in the heat. I, I loved a windy, challenging event. That, that was always my thing. I didn't really love the fast, flat, cool conditions. Coming here to Hawaii, um, it's a hard one to crack, you know, where the, the heat and the conditions, it looks easy on paper, uh, but it kind of fits right into that space where you're like, hey, I'm competing with the best in the world, uh, and it's a chance to really find out where you stand, you know, and can you get better? So for me, that's what really took it to the next level. It's the energy. It's the energy that you can't even describe it. It's uh, looking at that, you know, feeling everybody's nerves. It's the sun. It's just, it's a beautiful place. My, my first introduction to, to this was on a, a sports television show back home, and I never even knew what it was. It was just a Sunday afternoon sort of thing back home. It had come on television, and my mum still says that I, I sat there and said, oh, one day I want to do that. Once I had the first couple of Ironmans under my belt, I thought, well, I'm probably not that far away. Just keep going. And then my first Kona was 2015. Uh, and once I got a, a good taste for it, it was a case of, right, how can I get back? So I think when I you know, started getting close to times so to qualifying in Europe and that, I just thought everyone was going, you, sh you maybe you should try. And then I was thinking, OK, I made up my mind. And that's when it became, you know, a serious for me. So truth or noon? I think noon. <laughs> I'll take the truth. After a race, uh, do you leave your race number on or do you wash it off? Uh, I try to take it as fast as possible. You're not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> Most uncomfortable place you've had to do an emergency pit stop. Oh no. Longest where you've gone without showering after a long run. Uh, oh, I've gone 24 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Noon. I stopped in a tree and it was poison ivy. What is the most disgusting thing you've eaten during a training ride? <laughs> it pisses up so much. I took my pit stop and then, uh, yeah, then I got poison ivy. like really gross gas station crackers. The most embarrassing thing about being a triathlete. <coughs> like when you're riding, you're like so far, and you're like, oh my God, I need a toilet. There is no toilet. Oh, I'm gonna pee myself. Maybe truth. <laughs>